Uh, 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 step number one, come back over here. Mm, drop all this way. Get back to the waterfall. And discover this little package. Oh, I was told in the comments. Hey, go back to it. Must do it. What you got? Bruh. <laughs> Is this what you want me to come get? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Did I miss something that I... What the... How dare you waste my time with this nonsense! Step two, come over here. I saw this item in the recording itself. I completely ignored its existence. And there it is. Yeah, don't electrocute me. I'm here just to collect. Ow. Lightning perfume bottle. Indeed, the comment said. It is scales with faith. You may want to check it out. And indeed, we're gonna. But first... Gotta go to step number one, but it's actually the third in the video. And this feller has a new and exciting thing to say. I do want to check. Uh, I've seen like 20 new crosses, buddy. Then you want Righteous to know about them? Tarnished. You have you have no interest whatsoever. It <laughs> weirds me out. He like literally gave me a quest. Hey, let me know about the other crosses, blah, blah, blah. Look. He doesn't give a crap. Talk to more. Oh, I know. Give this to Tiolier. Oh, he asked me to find it. I finally found it. Okay, fatty. Black syrup. He just squatted over a pot and shit on it, isn't it? Isn't it? This is just shit in a pot. Many things we have found. All right, he has nothing else I, to say. For you, things. All right. Do you got anything new? You have found nothing new, you buffoon. Goodbye. All right. I guess I will continue on my quest. Step next, the next step, I guess, go back to Tiolier. Because we have done all the little bits of busy work. Let's turn this in. Let me give you poop in a pot, sad buddy. I'm sure you'll put it to good so, use. Uh, what can I help you with? It's actually a dude. I thought it was the lady. Oh? What's this? I have to say, Sam Moore has an awfully sharp eye, doesn't he? It's wonderful. This ebony, as lustrous as the night sky unending. I don't mm, think it's a massive, incredibly enough. lustrous I'll turd. Think of something. Ah, oh, forgive me. You two deserve your share of the reward. Yes, yes. Give I'll me a piece of that special. mighty turd. If you find yourself weary of the weight of this life, then just give me the word. Sleep is a balm. An eternal sleep is an elixir. What? Sure, I, I'm just sick of being alive. So? Then take this. This concoction can coax even the oldest of dragons to sleep. For you, it will grant the sweetest slumber for all eternity. How enticing. A way to become unhero forever. It's so great. Can I actually use this madness? Cause immediate death if imbibed by an ordinary human. It's clearly a quest item, right? But it is letting me use it. How many of you fellas committed suicide using this? I don't have the balls. I don't have the balls to use this. I need to use this in a in a quest line. I am sure it will come up at some point. Do you have anything new to purchase? Doesn't look like it. I guess I'll get all all this poison grease I actually had way more than I could ever want and I'll take your your ful fulgur bloom and all this nonsense all right ah he sells more for 30 thousand each which means you can actually let me let me get a second one yes there you go um just give me the word if and now are you ready to witness butthole suicide <laughs> <laughs> you die. <laughs> I love it. It's like, I am weary of life. You just put me out of my misery. Little did he know that I am the tarnished lord, immortal, and un inescapable. Whether I want it or not, there is no rest. There is no respite for this most cursed of mad lords. 
<laughs> that was totally worth the rune arc. I am glad I did it. All right. <laughs> Stupid, man. Uh, this black concoction situation is insane. All right. Eh, it's Dex and Faith. I'm still gonna check it out because lightning in a bottle. Come on. You gotta use that a little bit. It sounds badass as hell. But certainly not something that fills me with excitement. If we were a little bit more strength based, that would be great. Not going to waste an ancient dragon smithing stone. But uh, let's use it a little bit. I'm sure it weights like half a pound, so we can probably just equip it just as an extra, huh? Yeah, there you go. We can just swap to it whenever we want. You can barely even tell that it's in my hand. Stealth, stealth weapon. Anyway, that's done. Let us go check out the moveset. Oh, you gotta hit that alternate map. So what am I doing now? Let me think about it. I believe we're fully done with the gravesite area and all these fortresses and stuff. So we have a few choices. I think this is the way you're meant to go. The hide road area and then you grab this map and you carry on forward. The second choice would be going down to the Dragon Pits Terminus. I, I do, I'm not going to go here simply because I want to know what's after that. See if it's a whole nother area going on over there or it's um, a dead end. So let's find out. Seems like it's a, you know, a passage forward into some other land, right? So let's find out what lays back here. Let me uh, check out the moveset though. Very pretty, very cool. Exactly the same as all the other perfumes though. That's right. Yeah. And a kick. It has a freaking kick for his ash of war. How boring. Anyway, give me that horse. And I gave myself five intelligence. So I'm able to wield these twin blades because it's actually really good damage. I was using it a little bit on mooks and I'm like, man, this is actually great. You just meet the minimum requirements, and I, I have a pile of strength and a pile of faith. So, like, half of the stats here, I have them pretty good. All right, we got a bit of a dragon barrow kind of place. Seems like, like a, a giant path forward. Yet another path forward. So, it seems we have three choices. Cerulean Coast, the Dragon Pits, Dragon Spit Terminus, going into some kind of dragon area. Or the Hyde Road Cross, which seems to be like the main path. Let's go with this one. I am most curious about this path up here. I see another fire golem. Well, step number one clearly has to be grabbing the map. Let's go and do it. Ooh, we see one of those black knights. I've been kind of farming these guys, but they don't drop the armor. All I've seen, all I've gotten from them has been the helmet. Is this a patrolling mining his own business? Let me just stab you in the back real quick. Ah! <laughs> do you do? Oh wow, he has a super stump from horseback. Impressive. Woo! Well, clearly I uh, was supposed to jump over that. Woo! I mean, if you can fight somebody on horseback, you should do it. No! Man, he actually does quite a little, uh, quite a lot of damage. This is uh, a little out of control. He, he just won't stop. He won't stop. You know what? It's nonsense. This is nonsense. Flame tornado. Stop even trying. Stop even trying to fight fair. Just use your giant super attack to kill them instantly. There you go. Great stuff. And I get back a little bit, a few charges. Pissing me off. All this silly running around each other like idiots. It's over. Can I give you what for? And then we can move on with our lives. All right. What is that? Is that another fire dog? Or some kind of flower? Either way, we want the map. Map of Skadu Altus. All right, let's take a look. Of course you will do this. <laughs> Elden Ring loves to expand the map slowly. Very cool uh, graphic over there. It doesn't seem like it's traversable, though. Basically revealed the entire top quarter of it. Let's take a close look. The Fort of Reprimand is now 
in the map, maybe to, you know, sequence break, we could go to the Fort of Reprimand and work our way back to this area. That, that could be a fun time. There's some kind of other cathedral over there. Another lovely swamp. We love those. Some kind of church. See the transept, the cross, uh, the cross shape, absolutely gorgeous. And a massive castle. This DLC loves its castles. I love it. And some kind of weird, warm-looking, horrible, death-like area, I'm assuming. So much fun stuff to do. Okay, so I want to visit that. And then we're going to go to the Fort of Reprimand. And we're going to work our way back from that. Are you, are you happy with that plan? I hope so, because that's what we're doing. Let's uh, first go... Yeah, straight, straight ahead. Very huge church, thank you. Take a good look at all the places we can go. Is there even a need to kill these guys? Seems like they're just patrols. Ow! They're just patrols doing their job. Does they have a third? No. Ow! Uh, maybe don't get hammered in the head. <laughs> Until you die, that would be great. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I'm not dual wielding. That's like, I uh, mean, I, I could have sworn I did more damage than this. I'm not uh, two handing, not two handed, dual wielding. I wonder if there's ever a reason to kill these guys. Other than, you know, it's a good time. Souls combat being freaking awesome. That's about it. Okay, let's check out this arch. We, you don't want to leave any kind of landmark behind, because the plan is to explore, you know, this entire side. We are going to explore this entire side, all right? And then we'll go to the Fort of Reprimand. There is absolutely nothing here. Some kind of... This is like uh, tombs. They're monuments for tombs, I see. Burial sites. Where am I going? Oh, this is actually traversable. No, it's not. Is it? It is. I expected this area to not... What, what? Am I confused? Like, the castle is here, but then this whole area is traversable. I see, I see. I see the cascade over there. That must be the top, right? The top where... Of the place where we're at. Man, that was uh, foolish. <laughs> foolish in the extreme. <laughs> we have a dog chilling over here. We don't need to do violence against it. We don't need to kill every single living creature that we encounter. Let's take a look. We traversed all of that, right? But not this spot. You know me, I gotta drop. Castle Ensis. Does it just... It Does it simply loop into it and that's it? Yeah, I have just simply re-entered the castle from a different entrance. There is no loot to be found. It is just going back into this place. I killed all these people. Well, get me back to the high road. <laughs> Look, I see a sh giant shiny monster in the distance. I go find it and I uh, distribute all the pain to its core. Okay, it needs to happen. Let me uh, use my incredible stance of... Wow! <laughs> Just uh, eat my planes. Oh, wow. he's actually very angry. He's tank as hell. I'll run or die to it. That'll be great. Oh, oh! He has tricks up, up its sleeve. What are you doing? Please, stop moving. <laughs> really could use my giant heavy weapons against this guy. Oh, that, that one. Just crush, crush my cranium, that one. Holy crap. Yeah, thanks for help. Yep, yep. Short sure dirt. Do you want to be, uh, like, uh, maybe... What? Maybe... Be damaged. Come on. Stands for a little while and charge it up. I, I have the talisman on that charges the charges the Ash of War with extra damage. He doesn't have a head to destroy, so let me just use another one of these. 
too powerful. He's too powerful. Too powerful indeed. Let us tackle this again with a little bit more finesse. <clears throat> Slightly more thought put into it other than just charge, attack, hope that it works out. Let's use the electricity. It's like a good chance, a good opportunity to, uh, you know, he is standing in a puddle. Good opportunity to electrify the crap out of him. Oh, the crap, that's a lot of damage. I doubt the poise damage on this thing is all that impressive, though. Decent damage overall, however. Whoa! Electrifying contact. Woo! Woo! What you got? Both stumps? Man, this guy is just... Really ordinary. You really want the high poise damage kind of attack against this guy, but I am a stubborn idiot. I don't know what is this. It's just a super jump, all right? They have given new moves to the giant. It's going to do some more carrying swords. Ooh! What kind of attacks does this do on horseback? Overall, this feels really underwhelming. It's like, is there a build that wants to use these? Or are they kinda lame, the perfume bottles? Woo! I would like to know the, ooh, the general consensus of the Elden Ring community. Are the perfume bottles just kind of lame? They do like zero poise. Full elemental damage. That has to be some, some use for that, right? Maybe if you specifically do Dex and Faith, this is a massive pile. Oh, wait, nine uh, Smithing Stones, eight. Uh, really underwhelming, really not liking it. Uh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Let's give it a chance with smaller mooks. Maybe it's really, really good when you are surrounded and you're doing a lot of AoE damage. Also, maybe with weapons with talismans that boost repeated attacks because it seems like it's a many, many, many hits per second. Sure, I'll use an imbued key and go to some unknown land. Sign me up for going into some teleporter I have no idea where I'll end up with. Uh, is there maybe a teleporter that, I, that will get me back easily, though? I don't want to go back to that stupid-ass cross again. What do you have to say? Behind! Yeah, all right. All right. Not terribly helpful. <laughs> Indeed, I am behind the monument. Well done. Well done, sir, madam. All right. Sure, I'll go through. I am sure I will not regret this. Usually imbued keys. They open gateways to dead ends. At least that's what they did at the Belfries. Is it Belfries or Belfries? Ancient ruins of Ru? Just, just some random location. Nowhere near. Can I mount up? Yes. Very cool. Very beautiful, though. Damn. Just peaceful. Gorgeous. Feels like a T-Rex is going to... Jump right out of the wood, good work, woodwork here. Do you think this guy will be susceptible to electricity? Do you think I should go in there with my electric sheep? Let me do this. Treat this as seriously as it deserves. I uh, uh, don't know what kind of damage this guy's going to have. Let's just have some good old golden bow. And we'll open fire. With a frenzied burst. We are not diplomatic. We attack first. We are the Han Solos. Whoa. Oh, he shoots. We are the Han Solos of this land. Oh, he's one of those horn scents. Really don't like these guys. Oh, baby. Kind of annoying. 
But uh, the Flame of Frenzy sure did a number on him. Doesn't do a crazy amount of damage. He's, he does like moderate amount of damage. I respect him though. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Woohoo! It's hard to even get close to him. Very crucible light. Nice, nice. Okay, that did it. very decent damage. What I don't like about <clears throat> the perfume bottles is. Divine Bird Warrior Greaves, huh? The zero poise damage is like pretty much a deal breaker for me. You gotta have those staggers, buddy. Greaves of Divine Bird Warriors, the very first of all horned warriors made from a golden metal. The great sharp talents increase the force generated by kicks. Uh, very niche, very niche, very cool. I like it. All right, it was really not necessary. I thought it would be like a far more challenging kind of mini boss fight. Well, sure, let's just explore this area. I don't know what I don't know what's supposed to do here. But it, it like I said before, usually it's like a pocket, like you know, the where it takes you to the little bit of Fa Faro Mazula. It doesn't really let you go to the mainland. Seems like that's the case. Like up there is the mainland. And over here is the little pocket of a preview that you can see before you get to the actual place. I'm going to look around. I'll report my findings. Ooh, a little bit of loot going. I went into under this massive bridge structure kind of thing. But uh, nothing interesting so far. That's so pretty, though. They never fail, man. Always delivering on the really awesome environments. Ooh, some kind of monument, shrine, statue. Let us be respectful and approach it with reverence. Verdigris Discus. It's an amulet. A discus made of verdigris, the corroded metal known for its heft. Raises defense with higher equipment load. Great weight makes for great strength. The strength to protect others. This is a cool... Uh, another niche item for all of those hefty fellows that like to fat roll. It's like, uh, you want to be a tank? Embrace it, buddy. You don't need to roll. Just fat roll your way to victory with maximum armor. I like that. We may want to embrace that playstyle. It seems like this is it, though. I'm going to explore a little bit more, and if there's nothing else, I guess we'll just teleport out. Ah, one more little piece of loot. Beast Horde. It's just a craftable. Alright. I really have not been able to find anything else to do here. So I guess you're supposed to teleport out pretty anticlimactic if that's the case. There really was nothing. It turns out that you only need to kill this giant once. Those kind of guys, they always respawn. I am surprised. But hey, I'll take it. I don't have to fight that chore again. It was a chore. This feels like it just goes back, doubles back to Castle Ensis once again. But I had definitely not seen that grave before. So once again, going to descend this area. Probably end up back at the castle. But there may be some ashes here, something interesting. Those who walk in death going to uh, sprout out of the ground. Grave Glove Ward, uh, level 4. How amazing. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> so stupid! Alright, let's continue the wilderness exploration. Not even gonna bother to bring death to your ass. I just don't give a crap, buddy. I am done battling with random mooks. I am literally the Lord of Chaos. Do you think I'm going to be just schooling lowly bastards like yourselves? pathetic melina has completely abandoned me by the way because you see i am the lord of chaos so she she does not like me very much wonder if she shows up for regular players out there what was i doing i think i was putting 30 points into endurance right i think what that's what i was up to with my leveling plans might as well use these runes while i have them we are slowly making our way to the church some kind of uh, 
big holy place is this collectible indeed shadow sunflower they are only they don't uh, turn themselves to the sun they just sniff mechala scent in the air and they turn toward it oh 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 there you go we are at the church we don't give a crap about no roaming idiotic black knights there's our favorite foe in the entirety of the game we love those go to the main road we don't give a crap about these patrols they are pathetic inconsequential truly insignificant let us face whatever guards this this church and in fact in fact i should treat you seriously coming here with some good protection going on not i'm gonna stop short of the flask church of the crusade I going, is there a protector? Is there somebody that will challenge my presence here? I see uh, multiple. Not oh. the flame of Mesma. All right, buddy. Aren't you the same guy from Belrad? Here, catch fire. I have missed all my fire. Oh, you are the Belrad dude. Insistent, are we? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of damage! Oh, that's a lot of damage! That's a lot of damage! Did that bowl cut motherfucker really call me cancer? I'll have you know I am more than cancer. I am the flame that cleanses the land! I am the opposite of cancer! You piece of trash! My mistake has been using new tools of destruction when I have the real holy exciser of marika in my hand check out this attack bitch oh oh not not such a a big fella anymore you bull cut idiot not so fun to face the true champion of the chaos flame oh so slow it destroyed bitch <laughs> you tell he got under my skin he got under my skin the piece of trash Thinking he's all the oh, oh, America, I'm so blah, 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 blah. son of a bitch is actually gonna kill me. <laughs> I am such a holy warrior, really doing that bearing. Stop it! Stop it! Let me just smack you across the head. I am done with your nonsense. I do forsake you. Ash of War, Flame Skewer. That's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool attack. I'm more interested about this key, though. Iron key with an engraved crest. Opens the door to the prayer room in the house of worship found in the church district of the Shadow Keep. That is a lot of words I know, no, know not the meaning, meaning of. They are definitely not here. This looks like another skibbity tree fragment. Yeah. Two fragments. Wow. Is it a bonfire or is it just... It's just a... Uh, I need to warp my anus. All right, awesome. See another piece of loot here. Very interesting. Rune arcs. Thank you for this rune arc because I actually, <laughs> actually, wasted yet another one. Humiliated by some bowl cut buffoon. What a haircut that fellow! I just I cannot get over the fact that I just got schooled by somebody that looks like a ten year old. Imbecile nerd. Makes me want to freaking murder all over again. Alright, so that was the church. That was the entirety of the church. My entire goal was to, you know, quickly come to the church and then... Oh, maybe there is like a second story here going on? Nah. Nah. It is so imposing from the outside, but then you go inside. It's just complete ruins. Pretty, uh... Unimpressive. If Marika's so mighty, why did she let her entire church go into ruin, huh? Mmm, riddle me that, bitch. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with this nonsense. I promised something and I'm going to do it. Even though there seems to maybe be a path to this. I don't think there is, though. Let's go to Fort of Reprimand. When we're going to stop, start right here. And he's still there. Something I can do as well. I don't need this Millicent Prosthesis anymore. That's right. I was wearing that for the decks. Let's give me some extra sacred damage. 
go all in on the ash of war let's ask uh, just show these fools the true might of marika's ward <laughs> overpower cell holy crap he hurts a lot didn't realize that he hurt that much when i first came here because he just went down like a, such a bitch you know uh, there's places to go here let's explore this castle at least start exploring no enemies, just stuff. Appreciate it. Alright, well, I still appreciate it. Those are valuable. That, that's basically giving me like 20,000 runes. So, I'm not going to poo-poo it the same way that I've been with the gl Grave Glove Wart and the Somber Ones. Those are truly pathetic. I appreciate the level 8 stones. I am into them. Alright, this is the side of grace that we grabbed earlier way way earlier maybe like three episodes ago four four five episodes ago another omen hunter is that their actual name omen hunters pretty sure that's what they do blessed bone shard excuse me <laughs> if you're going to ambush me in this cheap manner at least aim it properly that was pathetic brother at least shove me just come out of your hidey hole and shove me off the cliff. That was so shameful. You should be ashamed of yourself. That was so sad. What the hell? There was a piece of loot there. Am I taking crazy pills? What the hell's going on? All right, there's the side of grace. Maybe there's something over here. I don't think there is. Always got to check. And then there's uh, what's going on there. Why did that get damaged? I don't know. Uh, there's a door over there. And a door over here. Look. First off, fingers. And then try bottle. Thank you. Thank you. I like the emote too. Very good. This is an excellent. Let me applaud it. Only two appraisals for good. For for shame. For shame. Lots of people dying here. How do you manage to die? You're fleeing from something and then you got trounced. Oh, look. More volunteers. To go to Marika's heaven. <laughs> uh, anyway. Really dual wielding these maces is so not worth it. Because the moveset is pretty ass. I don't like any moveset that staggers the attacks like that. But the jump attack, man, does it hit hard. And then, of course, the Ash of War of Marika's hammer is hilarious. <laughs> it just always cracks me up. The way it just sends people flying. I love it. We can roll with it for an episode or two. Maybe we'll go back to the milady. I like uh, using all the time a variety of things, as you may well know. I get bored easily with weapons. I, I could not possibly do a run where I just use the same thing for the whole... Hey, that's nice. For the whole run, I use the exact same weapon. That will drive me crazy. I'll just jump here. What's the worst that can happen? Necessary item. Necessary item ahead. They just gave me big fire protection. Wonder if I'm about to be incinerated. Hmm. Could implement some tools of the trade. Taken on all at once. Required ahead. Is there maybe monsters behind? There's no way back up. Is there? Oh, there's a ladder there. Let's explore this area over here. Is this where I came from? I'm so lost. <laughs> this is what I came... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I came from. So that, that little loop was pretty uh, damn pointless. Do I need to kick this down? No. Just descend. All right. Let's just... Uh, move in. There's a few soldiers right here. Just, just pathetic. Whoopla! <laughs> Not so much of an ambush when you get utterly butt exploded <laughs> by one single attack. Overpowered hell, and I love every minute of it. Smithing stone six. You know what? Oh, it would be the perfect place to put it. All of Elden Ring. Zero mimics. You get through half 
of Shadow of the Elder El Air Tree mimics are nowhere near your mind. And then Miyazaki strikes. Oh, that will be just glorious, man. I'm going to not... I'm going to pretend that's not going to be in the back of my head from now on. That idea. That dastardly Miyazaki went like... <laughs> You thought there was no mimics in the Elden, Elden Ring, but it was all the long con. Let me just grab all this good stuff. We have another moron over here. Let's uh, show him the power of the goddess who saw Get Rex on. <laughs> wow! Some crazy, crazy damage on the Scum Lord. And bleed. Anyway, one jump attack should do it, but, you know, I have to also not be murdered by his one-shot attack. Oh, yeah! yeah, get wrecked. Blessed Bone Shard. Okay. Worthless. That's where I came from, right? Indeed. Feels like I did not explore the entirety of the castle, though. Goes to number one. <laughs> I mean, it's it like oh, not all loot needs to be useful. Clearly, a lot of this loot is like lore related. It's there because it makes sense that it's there from a lore perspective. But man, is it underwhelming to grab? I don't think there's anything else back here. What is keeps damaging somebody out there? I don't know. What's your dealio? We have. Uh... Of course I want to go over there. I'm the Lord of Chaos. Of course I want to grab this. Side of Grace. And activate the summoning pool. Why the hell not? What is being damaged over there? I'm so confused. I need to find out. Uh, this is the path to the place of remorse. Is it just monsters getting roasted? What? It's a giant freaking ghost flame dragon. Nope. Let me go back to the fortress. This is not a boss fight. I'm not doing a boss fight right now. I'm going to go to the side of Grace. And I'm going to sit here. And I'm going to call it a day. And I'm going to feel good. Hell yeah. More damage to the enemies. Less damage to me. Absolutely. That omen cleaver kind of dude was absolutely a force to be reckoned with a more damage mitigation All right, i'm going to do one last pass around this fortress make sure that i did not miss anything and then we'll call it a day oh geez uh, wonder <laughs> what these guys are doing here <laughs> oh man that's a broken one you don't mess with the broken ones. They are absolutely insane. Thing is, though, oh, now I have this idea in my mind. It's like, oh, maybe they take you somewhere. Maybe it takes you somewhere. Like the ones that take you to Volcano Manor. Blessing of Marika. Okay. Whee! Is this where I came from? It is where I came from, isn't it? This is going to get me exactly to where I started, right? Oh! What a wonderful loop that we have done. I feel like uh, this is just bookends for our adventure. See you in the next one. But then I realized I never came down this way. Let's correct that mistake. Let's correct that mistake real quick. There's this fellow over here that is going to feel the power of God. It's going to be absolutely trounced. Probably this is an ambush. Oh, baby. Black Knight Edward. I thought... Thought it was just a regular Black Knight. But no! It is, in fact, a boss fight. Holy crap, the incredible combo. Man, <laughs> get trounce, bitch. All right, okay, okay. Uh, uh, did not expect this to be something that I had to work at. Woo! Yoopla! Oh, yeah, get staggered, bitch. We need some more juice here. Juice yourself up, butthole. Yeah! I mean, the actual war is so overpowered, it's just insane. <laughs> it's just 
stops this guy in his tracks. Get staggered, Black Knight Edred. You were no match for the power, uh, power of the goddess. Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. Get destroyed, enemy. You were my enemy. You were my foe. Aspect of the Crucible Wings. Do -do 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 -do. Are you guarding an incredible piece of loot? I'm not leaving until you give me something incredible. But I doubt it's incredible. I'm pretty sure it's just trash. At the top of this place. Ah, it just keeps going up. And at the top of the tower, we have an incredible chest. This chest contains a cookbook. I'm down with cookbooks. Cookbooks uh, can be a mighty thing. Festive Grease, though, which is the trashiest piece of garbage I've ever encountered, makes me want to just off myself right off this cliff. <laughs> 